Welcome to the second video from First Decision Realty, Bob Baser. And in this video, we're going to talk about the four things that you need to do in your 30 to 90 day mark. Now, these four things you'll have started in your first 30 days, and you just continue it on over into the 30 to 90 days. The very first thing is you're going to continue to speak to people. Um, the reason why that's important is whoever you're speaking to, Typically, they take some time, and it's going to be multiple times that you speak to them. The best example would be the pizza guy who actually delivers pizza here to our agents. Our agents order a crap ton of pizza from the Italian place, so that's how I met him. I ended up talking to him. I uh, met him over three or four times after the first time he came in. The very first time, I just asked him straight up, Hey, listen, you always deliver pizza here. When are you going to buy a house for me? He laughed it off and was like, Oh, not right now. Second time he came in, I said, man, you keep bringing in food, but you're not giving me your business so I can help you get into a house. Again, he laughed it off. He said, oh, I'll let you, he's like, when I'm ready, I'll let you know. Third time he came in, I said, hey, come on, bro. I need that $6,000. When can I help you move in? Let's chat. What's wrong? Straight up, right? Just because the jokes kept going. It was a back and forth thing every time he came in. Long story short, we're working with him to get him into a home. So... The point is never stop talking to people. It's going to take more than one time from seeing that person. You, I mean, unless you get super lucky, which does, I guess, happen sometimes. It's just, it's never happened to me. But it could happen to you, which is great. So just keep talking to people. Um, don't, don't badger them, but don't stop talking either. Unless they tell you to shut up, then, then don't talk to them. The next thing is you're going to continue to work the open houses. So hopefully in your first 30 days you've met up with some agents, you've worked with some of them, and they've let you host their open house. Shout out to Joshua Smith and all of the work he's doing with mega open houses down in Arizona. Highly recommend you guys to look it up. Joshua Smith, uh, mega open houses, you'll learn a ton. Now is when you should start seeing the payoff. So some of those leads that you got from that first open house start translating into potential buyers today. Uh, and the reason for that is, you know, you're going to keep in touch with them. You're going to, you know, touch base with them two weeks after the first meeting. And then again, two weeks following that, again, unless they tell you to leave me alone, then you leave them alone. We're also going to continue to assist agents. Uh, very first month in the industry, it's going to be a little bit shaky. You know, some people may or may not trust you. Your skills may or may not be there. But as long as you continue, as long as you keep proving to them uh, by showing up in the office every day, asking questions, coming up with different ideas, approaching them, not being scared, really demonstrating your personality, there should start to be that confidence in there. There is no confidence. Just fake it till you make it. Once you've actually built up the confidence with those people, what you're going to want to do is ask to handle some tougher cases for them, ask to work some cases. You might not get the full commission split on those, which is fine, but you're going to get that experience and then you're going to try to work a referral out of that. Uh, and again, you want to have everything in writing and have it agreed to with by your broker. Uh, that's just going to prevent confusion and, and any, any issues that could potentially arise. And finally, work the rentals. Uh, seasoned agents tend to hate working rentals. The commission's not as great, but there's volume there. I mean, you're throwing away minimum $400 to $800 every time you say no to a rental. So work the rentals. So whatever you can do, get into the rental market because these people are people who may or may not be qualified to buy a home with. If they aren't qualified, guess what? Not only can you help them with the rental, make some money now, and then later on, once they get qualified, you can then be their agent to represent them. So work the rentals. These are your four tips on how to be successful in real estate. Uh, again, watch video number one, and I, I'm gonna try to get the link down here. This is the first time I've done this, so please don't judge. Um, I'm gonna try to get the link over here. And if it's not over here, or if it's too high or too low, I apologize. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen, and uh, yeah. Try to uh, click the link if you haven't seen the first one. If you have, then this should be just a part two of it. Uh, and then the very next video, we're going to talk about the what to do in your 90 uh, plus days. And so some of this will obviously transfer over there, but there's going to be some newer stuff in there. Please subscribe. Hopefully, if I get enough subscribers, I can maybe do this full time. Or comment below and uh, let me know if there's any topics you guys want me to cover. 
Um, I do want to do an interview with the broker just to kind of show you what the mindset is of somebody who wants to get into the business as an owner, not just an agent. So again, subscribe, call me, contact me, email me, whatever you need to do, get a hold of me, get a hold of me, and hopefully we can uh, work something out. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.